Hey, hey everyone, Carlo Fix here, and today I've got another Daiso special. It's the Craft Resin Set. It was a very cute little set. Of course, it was only two dollars and eighty cents. So let's let me show you what it came with. So it came with these two bases um, that you fill up with um, decorative stuff and resin. It came with like backdrops for these, like they should fit these, and some little inserts, like this is clear plastic, and just some little designs that you cut out and put in there, like some flowers and a key and just some, you know, kind of Victorian type stuff. Um, it also came with some charms, so uh, this set came with like a crown, a ribbon, and a key. They're really cute, and they're in this like bronzy type color. It's very antique. It also came with some jump rings and uh, a strap attachment. So it's got a little lobster class on it. And it's also come with this uh, kind of rope strapping thing. Um, it doesn't have any ends on it, so I'm not sure if it'll be appropriate to make a necklace, but we'll see. Then on the back of these, like it usually says, it tells you um, what you need in addition to this. So it says that you need resin, which I don't keep on hand. This is my first time ever doing a resin kit, but lucky for me, Daiso also has resin. <laughs> um, it says you also need pliers, which I've got here, scissors, and it also says you need glue, tweezers, and a toothpick. Uh, from what I've seen of this, I'm not, I don't think I'll need those, but I do have some on hand um, if I really desperately need it. So, yep, there's that. And um, I kind of half picked out some of the designs that I wanted to do. I will do both of those today because it looks like it'll be pretty quick. Um, this one though, this one I'll use this backdrop. I'll cut this out, place it in there, and place a couple of these on there. Have it decided which one I want yet but maybe a flower <laughs> and then this one I thought it was really cute I thought it would make a great cameo so what I did was I created in Photoshop kind of a Mario cameo I wasn't sure what size I needed so <laughs> that's why I've got the different sizes there but yeah I'll cut this out and place that on the backdrop uh, the resin it's a UV resin it's supposed to give you a hard surface once it's cured um, you're supposed to set it out in the sun to let it dry, but I've got a UV lamp for nails, which I'm going to try to use and see if that works. It's like a 60 second lamp that you push this button, UV light comes on, and yeah, we'll see how that works. Alright, so let's get crafting. I love steampunk, so for this tiny one, that's why I chose the key and the stopwatch, because that's, that's pretty steampunky. So this UV lamp um, comes from a manicure kit, actually, and um, yeah, so whenever I want to do shellac, I have to use this UV lamp to cure it, so quite lucky. I used the X-Acto knife because one, it was right next to me, but I'm glad I did because um, it worked really well at popping air bubbles and holding down the piece and spreading the resin down until it made contact and was with all the sides and everything. So it was good. I'm actually happy with my choice of tools. <laughs> I got my X-Acto knife at Daiso as well, so it's pretty cool, isn't it? It's like your one-stop shop, really. And actually, the resin provided um, 
in that kit was, was you know, the right amount. Uh, there's a little bit left, but not a whole left. Like maybe, maybe enough to do half of one. So um, it was a good amount. So it allowed you to do these with some extra just in case something happened, I guess. Um, yeah, very easy craft to do. This uh, cording that they provided would make an awesome necklace, but I don't know how to make it adjustable or, you know, able to open and close it without just tying a knot. So for this, for today, for now, I'll tie a knot kind of loosely so that I can undo it and then maybe uh, either think about putting a chain or getting some in caps or something. I don't even know. I, or learn how to tie one of those adjustable knots. I think that would be interesting too. Although the style doesn't actually fit the Victorian flavor, does it? <laughs> and finished product. This is the strap one, the round one, that I cut the film for. This just came out so fantastic. Um, the film actually gave it some depth because it was... So what I did was I put a layer of resin, the film, and another layer of resin. I probably could use more resin on the top, but really that's, you know, that's just a personal choice. But these just came out so phenomenal. I can't believe it. And it's got the little key charm on it. Absolutely beautiful. And it's so shiny. Like... The end result is just phenomenal. I can't believe it. And here is the Mario cameo that I made. Um, even, I just can't get over how well this came out. Even though I printed it on copy paper, um, and some of the resin soaked through the paper, it just created this really, really cool design. Um, so yeah, it just kind of adds to it and it just makes it even more of an original piece. It looks great. And I put more resin on this one than I did on the circle one. And it's got that raised, I don't know if you can see it. It's got that raised look to it. So it's like the resin is in a bubble or it is a bubble. It's just sitting on top there. It's so cool. Unbelievably cool. And I put the crown on here because Mario is king. <laughs> but yeah, I just uh, can't get over how fantastic these came out. And for only $2, uh, no, not $2.80, for $5.60, these came out just incredible. Unbelievably so. And you get two pieces, two accessories that you can customize, like, you can create anything that you want to fill to go underneath these resin pieces. So this is just absolutely fantastic. Um, it didn't take that long to do. It took maybe 15 minutes for both um, to cut out everything and arrange it and put the resin on it. And then it spent about 20 minutes underneath a UV lamp. Um, so yeah, it's not bad. I'll probably put these on the windowsill to sit in the sun just, you know, for a day or so give it some extra curing time just to make 100% sure that it is cured but yeah absolutely phenomenal I just can't get over it and it's so shiny fantastic <laughs> well I hope you enjoyed thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next